of a de facto one party state that do not allow for self government and have not established mechanisms for peaceful transfer of power. Without that guarantee, the growth we see in some of those countries today and the stability the authoritarian regimes seem to have enforced are sure to collapse at some stage and those countries will have to begin afresh. Elections and democracy are failing in Africa, not because a majority of African voters prefer authoritarianism, non-democratic forms of government. It is happening because an organized elite keen to protect narrow selfish interests has forged strategic alliances and captured strategic systems and institutions of various nations with the sole purpose of subverting the sub sub substance of elections. In a number of countries, we are witnessing a situation in which the majority is increasingly at the mercy of the minority with regard to free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. Africans who wake up at dawn, stand in long queues all day to cast their ballot, end up with the results that indicate their voters were not counted and did not count. In the last decade, many of our nations have evolved modern systems for collection, coalition, transmission, and tallying of election results. Many have adopted a result management systems that combine traditional vote counting and tallying processes and the use of technology to verify voter eligibility, register voters, and transmit results. In addition, we have seen the evolution of the electoral laws to allow representatives of political parties to independently tally the results and transmit to party tallying centers. But as we have witnessed in Kenya both in 2017 and 2022, technology is getting compromised and results altered. This has severely damaged the credibility of election management bodies in many of our countries. Let us cite an example. According to Gallup poll, 64% of Kenyans did not have con the confidence in the, in the honesty of elections as we prepared for the 2022 elections. Similarly, the Afrobarometer survey shows that 24% of Kenyans 